The FMC uses VOR and IRS data to calculate its position as before. The new 737 also has GPS. When GPS signals are available, the FMC uses GPS data as primary. GPS data is more accurate than radio or IRS data. If you are in the air and GPS data is not available or not accurate, the FMC will use radio data as primary. The FMC does not use radio position data on the ground, but it does use GPS position data. This gives accurate FMC position during extended ground operations. GPS time is very accurate. It shows on the pause init page. The position of each GPS receiver shows on the pause ref and pause shift pages. Show the nav options page. You can stop FMC use of GPS updates with the GPS update prompt. Stop GPS updates. GPS position data is re-enabled after landing before the next flight. First, the FMC uses GPS data to calculate its position in flight. Then the FMC uses distance data from two DME stations to calculate its position. The FMC continuously tunes different DME pairs to recalculate its position. The scratchpad message IRS nav only shows when navigation accuracy is not sufficient for present phase of flight. The FMC now uses an IRS to calculate position. Show the pause init page. Show the next page. The pause ref page shows each IRS calculated position. The GPS position and the position that the navigation radios give. The FMC uses input from one or more of these systems to calculate its position. In this example, the FMC uses GPS data. Show the next page. Use the pause shift page to check radio, GPS, and IRS position data, or to shift the FMC position. Position data on the pause shift page is shown in relation to the current calculated FMC position. You can shift the calculated FMC position to one of the other positions shown. Select the left IRS position. Execute. The FMC position shifts to the left IRS position. The FMC uses the left IRS position until you select a different position. With GPS update off, there can be a map position error when you are at the departure runway. During takeoff, when you push a toga switch, 
the FMC automatically changes the map position to the departure end of the runway. This makes sure that the flight starts with an accurate FMC position. If you depart from a runway intersection, you can change the takeoff shift line on the takeoff ref page. You are at intersection B2. Put in the runway intersection data. Enter this data into the correct line. When you push a toga switch, the FMC position moves to the intersection you put in. Push the progress key. The progress page shows your progress along the FMC route. It shows all data necessary to make a position report. Touch part of the progress page to see data about it. Touch the green arrow to continue. If a modification has not been executed, the destination line shows data for the destination along the modified route. The other parts show data along the active route. Now show progress page 3. Touch part of the progress page to see data about it. Touch the green arrow to continue. Next, let's look at the Fix Information page. Push the Fix key. The Fix Information page lets you show data in relation to a fix on the Navigation Display Map mode. The fix data is information only. It is not part of the FMC route. There are two Fix Information pages. You can put a different fix in each page. You can put in any fix that is in the navigation database. Put the waypoint lengths in the boxes. Lengths shows on the map as a green fix. Next, select the a beam prompt. The map shows a radial from lengths where the route passes a beam lengths. ETA, distance, and altitude for the ABEAM point show on the fixed information page. You can put data in these radial distance entry prompts to show a radial from the fix or distance circle around the fix. You can put in a radial, a distance, or both. If you put in a distance, you must use the slash key. Put one of these entries in the first radial distance entry prompt. To remove the fixed data from the map, use the delete key. Delete lengths.